The 2022 edition of the latest International Trade Fair, LITF, known as the largest international exhibition in West Africa, has commenced. The opening ceremony has stakeholders from both public and private sectors in attendance who called for the deployment of innovation and creation of smart business solutions. The fair started 4th and 8th, 13th of November 2022 at the main of the Safara Balua Square, Lagos, Nigeria from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. daily features both Nigerian and foreign exhibitors from different sectors of the economy. Please welcome at rest the President of the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry, LCCI, Dr. Michael Olawale Kohn pointed out that there are heightening fears of recession, both insecurity and more climate change impact, but businesses need to look for innovative ways to tackle those challenges. The 13th edition of the Lagos International Trade Fair, which was declared open by President Muhammad Buhari, with a pledge to continue to provide an enabling environment for business, especially manufacturing and exports to, to strive. The President noted that Nigeria signing of the African Continental Free Trade Agreement AFCFTA would be a great opportunity for the country as international trade recorded a surplus of 3.2 trillion naira between January and June this year. He said this could be the better. He said this could be better with collaboration of both the public and private sectors to help boost the demand of the demand for Nigerian products by aggressively pushing value addition and improving on the quality of goods originating from the country. Represented by the Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment, Otubani Adebayo, the President described the Lagos International Trade Fair as a great opportunity to showcase the country's capacity to produce to international standards. On his part, the Governor Babaji de Sowolu commanded the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry Association organizers of the fair for being an unrelenting partner, especially through its policy advocacy, which they said has been giving positive results. The Governor urged the Chamber to continue to initiate and develop more opportunities for supporting businesses, especially young entrepreneurs who have the potentials of rewriting Lagos' business history and revitalizing Nigeria's economic fortune.